In this circuit, the capacitor is initially uncharged. The switch is then closed. Find A, the current in each resistor the moment after the switch is closed, and B, the current in each resistor and the charge on the capacitor a long time later. Because it takes time to charge up the capacitor, the moment after the switch is closed, there's still no charge on the capacitor. And Q equals to CV, that means that the voltage across the capacitor is zero. Therefore, for this particular moment, we can pretend that the capacitor is like a wire, and the circuit is kind of like this. So we have the 6 and 3 ohms, they are in parallel, and then together they are in series with the 4 ohms. So we can find that their equivalent to be 2 ohms. So we can simplify this circuit to that. 12 volts, 6 ohms, so the current is 2 amps. So the 4 ohms gets 2 amps. The 2 ohms also gets 2 amps, but this one is really these two in parallel. When they are in parallel, they get the same voltage. They don't get the same current. So it will be convenient for us to find the voltage across the 2 ohms. The voltage across the 2 ohms is the I times R, 4 volts. So these two, they get the same 4 volts. So the current in the 6 ohms is 4 volts divided by 6 ohms. And this one is uh, 4 volts divided by 3 ohms. And we can check our work since uh, it's 2 amps of current coming through here and then split. Therefore, these two added together must equal to 2 amps. A long time after the switch is closed, the capacitor becomes fully charged. So no more charges are coming onto the plates. This means uh, there is no current in this segment. Therefore, we can cut the wires here and there, and it will not make any difference. So the 3 ohms does not get any current. And with this segment removed, the circuit is just like this one. So these two are in series. They get the same current, which is V over R, 1.2 amps. To find the charge on the capacitor, we use Q equals to CV. So we need the voltage across the capacitor. For this, we look at the, what the capacitor is in parallel with. In this case, the, the capacitor itself is not in parallel with anything, but this segment is in parallel with the 6 ohms. So we need to find the voltage across the 6 ohms. The voltage across a resistor is I times R. The current is 1.2 amps, so we get 7.2 volts. Since the 5 nanofarad is in series with 3 ohms, Together, they share the 7.2 volts. But since uh, this resistor gets no current, it gets no voltage. So all the 7.2 volts belongs to the capacitor. So here we have the charge, 36 nanocoulombs.